Well, today's Saturday. And uh, going out for a walk. Because I, I think the simple act of going out for a walk, enjoying a pipe, something I have not done in, I believe, a few months now. Uh, it's something that a lot of us could benefit from right now. Had to work this morning. I actually got out a few hours earlier than I usually do on Saturday. Chickens are fed. I was surprised to see uh, seven eggs waiting for me. That's uh, it's usually about three or four. Seven? Well, you must be pretty happy. I have my Peterson pipe filled with uh, Cornell and Deal uh, afternoon delight. A little lighter than I enjoy. I like the uh, darker tobaccos, Cavendish and the like, Burleys. Uh, as for this, it burns hot. It tends to have a sweeter taste to it. Did I actually catch what was killing my chickens? Well, the answer is no. Uh, trap was sprung. It looks like the, uh, the bait was partially eaten. But that also means there's a good chance that there's a weasel or a mink, depending on what you want to call them. I don't know. Are there like, uh, weasel activists out there and they're going to complain because I might have called them a mink or got, got the naming wrong or something. I don't care. Well, gas is back to, uh, 2010, 2012, uh, prices. That should be interesting to see what the repercussions of that's going to be. We also have uh, Zelensky trying to tell the United States to stop buying Russian oil, which in itself is a hilarious no-brainer. It appears I have uh, come across a very highly used turkey trail. I have seen a lot of turkeys on the property as of lately, and uh, I'm uh, really happy that they're uh, sticking around. Do enjoy me some turkey hunting. I've had more success with that than I have deer hunting ever, which is also odd. Tomorrow's supposed to be in the 50s. I think the day's going to start out with some rain. And uh, it's going to be interesting around here when all of this melts. And it appears my pipe is already reaching its end. That's the uh, the other crappy thing about the the lighter blends. You don't get a nice long smoke out of them. If you needed any more proof about turkeys, You know, that's the uh, 
funny thing about those birds is that uh, at night they tend to roost at the top of pine trees. At least around here they do. And then early in the morning when the sun comes up, one by one they glide down to an area like here where it's nice and open. And they get back together. And they go about their day uh, roaming around, eating, breeding, doing what turkeys do. And uh, this last uh, deer season, again, it was a bust, as it is every year for me. Just not a good deer hunter. Maybe it's just time to acknowledge I, I'm just not a deer hunter. So that that could be the issue. Just not a deer hunter. My uh, grandpa never got a deer. He, he went every year for several years. Lived across the street from uh, state hunting land for a number of years. Still never got anything. Me, I've been hunting since I was 32. I like to call myself a late bloomer, except uh, it's more like the, the bud never bloomed and I never uh, blossomed. <laughs> hey, you know, that's, uh, that's all right. And uh, even here, two years in a row, just uh, completely skunked, as it were. Yep, that's done. At least I can refill and head back to the house. So, I'm in my blind. You know, I'm sitting at the top of a hill overlooking a watering hole and an area that I know the deer travel all the time. Particularly a large doe and a yearling that is always hanging out with her. And I'm sitting there and I'm out early. It's, it's early in the season when you want to be out. But I swear, deer know. Deer have that calendar. I think I just spooked a partridge. Oh well. And uh, I'm sitting there and I hear and I hear the gobble gobble and uh, look over to my right. Now keep in mind the opening day of gun season for deer in Michigan is also the day after the last day of turkey season, which means they know, even though I'm sitting there with a gun, can't shoot them. That's happened to me twice, where I set up, I'm out ready for deer season, and then out of nowhere, turkey are like flying or walking by my blind, and I can't do a darn thing about it. So, say what you will about a turkey, they are not dumb birds. So aside from relaxing, talking to you, roaming around, getting reacquainted with the land that I haven't really been out in for the last couple of months, a co-worker was talking about how they were heading out to the woods where they shot their buck and they're going to go antler hunting which you know I've seen a lot of deer on the side of the road out in the fields and uh, I kept thinking to myself I don't see any any bucks where's all the bucks and 
stupid me, I'm like not realizing, oh yeah, they they shed those things. When when they're done humping, those things come off and life goes back to normal. So I know that there's bucks back here and uh thought I'd go take a look. Leave it to me to find several piles of buck scat no antlers that's uh that's how i roll well i've checked all the scrapes that i know about seeing if perhaps the deer came back and knocked off their antlers but from my understanding they just fall off when, uh, when they're ready. You could be walking by a tree and it gets hung up and it just falls off. But uh, <sighs> not my luck. Oh well, keep looking. This seems like a good area where uh, antlers might drop. Let's check it out. The great thing about walking through woods like this is there is no short supply of uh, tappers when you need one. So, uh, isn't it amazing the, the things that we spend money on that we can just find for free? Well, that was a bust. I uh, walked through a good percentage of the property where uh, the deer like to roam and uh, nothing. Somebody's getting some shooting in while it's nice out. So uh, that's about it. They might get the dog out of the house and uh, Go for another walk, let him in, enjoy the nice weather. If they can't trust him off the leash. But I mentioned we got a new dog. One that we had, the, the little white Jack Russell. She uh, passed away a couple weeks back. And uh, yeah. Uh, she was she was really 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 old um, we're guessing because my wife got her when she was three or four years old already uh, since then she had her for 12 13 years so she was about 17 and uh, it was not pretty towards the end. She uh, couldn't get on the couch anymore and just uh, didn't know how to ask to go outside and was just peeing wherever she was, which isn't exactly... Uh, I guess it's not uncommon when you're that old. So, <sighs> anyways, yeah, so we got a new dog. His name's Hunter. He's a black lab <laughs> Jack Russell mix. Kind of an oddball. He looks big, but he's only like 40 pounds. A lot of energy, and uh, hoping that. He'll be around for a while. So, anyways, thanks for coming along and uh, see you guys again next time.